Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Friday digital edition of Intentional Talk. It's presented to you by Toro, it's Millar, it's Rose, and it's Eric Hosmer of the San Diego Padres, good enough to join us from, what, what are you, sitting on your throne with a smoking jacket overlooking the greatest view of history of this country? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, we're, we're experiencing back-to-back -back days of rain out here in Coronado, so we're, I'm grinding right now, Rose. We're grinding. Oh, that is an amazing view. Is there any way you can, like, Give us a little look. Like, is this a whole huge window we're looking through or what? What do we got? Yeah, we're like right in the living room right now. We're looking out the back. You see, yeah. we, got the, uh, we got the water right there. We got yeah. the, the first level, a couple levels out here. So we're, we're all right, man. We're, we're in quarantine in a, in a pretty decent spot out here. All right, so listen. The view is show. The rain's not show. Golf, you know that Uncle Kevin loves some golf, even though I'm still a hack as much as I play. I saw that on your social media. You had a chance to go over to Ping, and so I want to ask you a couple questions. One, how was it? Two, how's your golf game? And what did you get free for me? <laughs> so <laughs> the experience at Ping was unbelievable. We got to go in the putting vault. Um, we got to see and, and hear all the different backstories on – you know, some of the different putters that dudes have won championships and all that uh, got fitted up. That was the first time I got fitted up for clubs. And yeah. dude, that's life changing. I mean, I'm awful at golf when it comes to the first place, but getting the, the, the fitting done was, was game changer for me. It actually like, it locked me in a little bit. I mean, the driver I struggle with, but other than that, I feel like my irons are pretty solid. And we did a couple, uh, we did a couple team scrambles there at the end in spring when stuff started to shut down. So, I mean, it just came at the perfect time. But I got you a putter, Uncle Kev. Don't worry. You know I always look out. That's what I'm talking about. I do want to ask you one question with the fitting. You know, because now is numbers. Everything's number. Launch angle, this and that. We all know all that stuff. When you sit there and you get fitted, they've got 10,000 more numbers than we deal with, like spin rate on the ball and this stuff and the launch angle of the club. And the, what, what, what clubs did you end up going with? I mean, what shafts? Yeah, they had they had me hooked up to the, the, the track man, the swing track, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. But that was the beauty of the whole thing. The guy was just like, don't change anything in your swing. I'm going to adjust the club. Just keep swinging the same way you swing. And that's like, I was like, all right, perfect. So I didn't change anything. I'm swinging the same way. He's taking the club after like, you know, two swings. He's doing something to the irons, to the driver. I did the same swing and the ball just was getting better. It was just getting more straight. I was, I'm a big slice guy, so I wasn't getting any slice at all. But he, yeah. hooked me up. he gave me all the irons. He gave me a hybrid that I love that I actually, because I struggle with the, <laughs> with the driver so much, I started teeing off with the hybrid during our yep. team. And it was working, man. It was, it was legit. Thank well, that's all for today's edition of Golf Central. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> Listen, I want to talk about the good stuff. And we're all staying at home. We all kind of hit the stuff a little early. I saw you and Casey, your girlfriend, you guys were making your own wine at home. How did that experiment go? Yeah, Case and I, Case is over here. She's uh, brilliant. She's one, she set up the whole set for me and all that. But we've been doing all these ha at home activities. And, I uh, just, I've been forcing him. He's been such a good sport because I'm producing yeah, I've, my own content. And I've had some me. tough assignments that I've grinded through, and I've, I've, been, I've been good <laughs> grinding through with it. But we've done some fun things too, man. We got a little garden going right now. We did the uh, sushi. What do you got? What'd you plant? Dude, we got everything. We got onions, plant. peppers. We got the rosemary mints. We got whatever you need. Arugula is already growing in. Yeah, we'll ship you some. Well, wait a second. I, I want to get back to the wine because I saw the experiment that went on in your kitchen. Like, who <laughs> do I have to call a sommelier on this sort of thing? Or well, it's the question. Like, is is this like baseball player ready for the season? He's ready for the season. He's so strong. He broke the top right off of the Smash aerator. It. Smash. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, I'm in mid-season form. I'm, <laughs> my plan waits here. I'm ready to roll. Dude, that's still good. Uh, so real quick, since you're kind of in mid-season form, so like when you guys start doing these dugout songs, like last year was I Will Always Love You, you know, stuff like that. What, what, when this comes together and when all this stuff happens, whose idea is this? He talk, talk to us about that. Dude, we did. Fran Bell, Fran Bell is just, he's great, man. He was a great guy to have in the clubhouse, but he would come in every day and, you know, he would start, Casey's going to go start up on her, on her mimosas now. So she's <laughs> right. Uh, but Fran Mill, dude, this guy, his personality was, was awesome. Dude. I always say in 10 years, he's going to be the next big poppy, just how he treats people and all that. So 
he would come in and he would kill it, dude. He did his bus. We called him at the front of the bus and we made him sing or whatever. And, you know, we're thinking he's going to bust out, you know, some kind of reggaeton or something. And he busts out the somebody once told me the world is going to. And he nailed the whole entire song for like two straight minutes. <laughs> we were like, this is unbelievable. But he would just come in with a different jam every day and be like, man, I heard this on YouTube yesterday. And enough, we started singing that one song in the dugout and, and we did it pregame. It was our thing. And, and we nailed that one in New York, by the way. That was a great performance. Yes. Great song. performance. All right. So um, I don't know what you, what you get to do every day. I mean, do you and Casey just take long walks in the neighborhood with masks on? Because that's pretty much what my wife and I are doing. So like, what's your daily regimen? Yeah, that's that's exactly it, man. We, you know, we try and hit the grocery store like once a week and go on Monday and get everything we need for the week and then um, just get mm -hmm. back and basically do these activities, man. We, I was telling you guys before, we did this Lego puzzle of uh, Statue of Liberty. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. And we actually got it. Yeah, we got it uh, now just, just chilling in the house. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Right here. There it is. That's the Lego thing right there. So so, it. We just been finding different activities, man, to try and try and do stuff that we would you know, never do during normal stuff or normal day of life. So it's been killing time for us. All right. Well, real quick, let me grab the Statue of Liberty. Is that within arm's reach? Let's see. Let's see how you did. That... Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. What, dog? Not bad. Right? Okay. Solid. Well, you do, you do know something else about um, you're kind of a facial hair connoisseur, much like my man Millar. As you can tell, this is my first excursion into yeah. beer. I yeah. have to admit, guys. I bought the I bought the beard dye. Do I go with it and try it this weekend as a prospect, Oz, or do I just say just let the gray go? Plays, I really do. Casey always picks my. I get like random grays and she'll pluck them right out for me. But I, I think it plays. Malar? Yeah. So let me just tell you real quick with that hair dye stuff, Chris. You, you, you gotta know that you're almost fifty, and the gray hairs are part of getting to fifty. So you can go. I told you, mascara waterproof and you just fill in a little bit but then you always got you know you got the grays that are normal you know because no one's just like 67 years old with jet black hair except my wife's dad i'm like dude you don't right. have a gray hair and i'm 45 pounds six four threes my whole life i'm full set of grays so just go with the the, okay. the mascara you, that way you can tighten it in you know you and dion look amazing yeah what do you think I'm see i mean look at dion he looks like papa smurf man yeah i'm letting it ride i'm letting it ride too this is probably the, the yeah my beard's ever gone but everyone's letting it ride right now let yeah. it run you know what i'll throw it out to twitter the twitterverse so they can they can tell us at intentional talk or at chris rose let me know should i just let it keep going gray uh should i throw the dye or should i just shave it? i'll i'll listen to america because that's what we're clamoring for yeah so no doubt uh i do want to get how's your you're, you're a little bit of a gamer the ps4 is going rocking what games you playing Dude, I just put an MLB The Show the other day, and these dudes gave me a 29 speed, so I immediately shut that off. I went to <laughs> Call of Duty right after. But, no, I go I go MLB The Show. I go 2K. I go Call of Duty, the new Warzone game. Um, those are the three I got right now. But, yeah, you just never have time, you feel like, to do any of that stuff. And now, we're obviously, yeah. you got to kill time. So, I just – I got it back rolling. All right, listen, before we get out of here, uh, we're, we're bringing back by popular demand rapid fire. Millar, are you prepared? I'm prepared. I have my rapid fire cutout sheet sponsored by our little intern here, Dan Kamiati, that did it today. We went to the University of Arizona, so good luck with these, Dan. First non-baseball-related place you will go after the quarantine? Um, probably a golf course. Yes, yes. I'm get those to play. I got the fitted clubs. I'm hooked. Done. Which teammate would be the worst quarantine buddy? Oh man, I'll go with uh, I'll go with my boy Austin Hedges, the Hog. We call him the Hog. He's he's messy, man. He's he just moved his locker next to me in September, and he's talking <laughs> about doing it as a permanent thing. I don't know if I'm ready for it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's 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 a legend. He's coming by me. He's he's just a messy dude. So it'd be a good thing, but. He's not as organized as Case, I would say. Yeah. Uh, besides Tiger King, that, that everyone's seen, what's another must-watch right now that you've seen? Ooh. Um, we're watching Seals right now on CBS. That's a great show. Mm. I've watched that. 
Mm, love it. The SEAL team on CBS. Done. Which teammate is most stressed about their current hair situation? Man. Um, let's go Manny. I think Manny's more stressed about his beard situation right now. He's got the chops rolling, and he's getting some good – he's getting some, some mixed reviews in spring training. But he's just looking for that connecting piece right here. And I think he's, he's low-key trying to get that connecting piece during this whole deal. Yeah. So I think he's, yeah, I think he's stressing a little bit. Last one, brother. Who do you miss the most right now? Oh, man. Um, I'll, I'll go Will, man. Will Myers. Everybody uh, – Will's, Will's my guy, man. Will brings me that – just that, that instant comedy or that entertainment I need on a daily basis. So, it, it's – it's tough not seeing Will every day. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. It looks like he just woke up. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's a beauty. That's all you can say. He's a beauty. Haas, listen, uh, go out there. Stay safe. Best to you and Casey and your entire family as well. And uh, hopefully once this thing is all wrapped up, we get to see you in person. All right, buddy? Stay healthy. Thanks, man. Best to you guys, too. You got uh -huh. it. Have a really good weekend. Thanks for tuning in to Attentional Talk presented to you by Toro.